Hi everyone, it's Luis again. Uh, listen, today I'm doing a video on my mounted orchids. As you guys know, I love mounted orchids. And the reason I love them is because they it's more appealing to me. I like that they look very natural, almost like that's how they were, they are in, uh, in their natural surroundings. So what I wanna do is a sh highlight the orchids that I have. I don't have them in bloom right now, but I will say the name of them. And whenever it's in bloom, I'll make a blooming video of that particular orchid. So I wanna start off with this one. This one is Orangis, Orangis Biloba. And uh, there you go. Now, uh, it has a bloom spike right here, if you guys can see it. So whenever this blooms, I'll make a video of this and you guys will be able to see it. Now, the reason I wanna talk about mounted orchids is because to me they look more appealing. They look more natural. Uh, now, another reason you might wanna repot, I mean, excuse me, mount, is because the habit of the plant itself requires that it get mounted, meaning if you water too often, you're gonna find root rot. And to, to prevent it, you mount it, and that way the plant dries faster, and you won't get that root rot. Uh, another one I wanna point out is this one right here. This is Dendrobium aphyllum. Uh, it it's also goes by the name Dendrobium periardii and I made a video on, on a blooming one of these so just look it up it's under dendrobium periardii the hooded dendrobium this is it um, and I also have smaller ones of this one right here these two are examples of that one right here. These are the same. And I just did this in uh, February. So as you can see, it's already established itself. And this one I did in uh, December. December and February. So as you guys can see, they're already growing out. Now if you don't know how to mount an orchid, I will make a video so that you guys can see how easy it is to mount an orchid and display them like uh, in their natural surrounding. Now I also want to make a, um, let me bring this out. This one is uh, Lelia Anseps, uh, Santa Barbara, sorry. There you go. And what I did is that I, I cut a piece of palm tree and I mounted it, and it's growing like crazy. Also, I want to point out, this This is, you know, I don't have, all my plants are my favorite. I don't have one, just one favorite. Uh, look at all these nice roots growing there. This plant is very healthy. And it looks like it's going to bloom, so... Uh, check up on this one. This one is uh, BC Carnival Kids. This one's real pretty. So, uh, if you, you know, I'll make a video when it blooms, and this one's spectacular. Now, I want to go into uh, this one. This is where the that bee was digging a hole in there. So it's somewhere in there. Hello, hello. It's somewhere in there, but anyway, she's not harming the plant, so I'm going to leave it alone. This is the, oop, sorry. This is Dendrobium begibum. So, there's that. This is VOC Rustic Spots. This one blooms for me every year, so look for that one. And I also have this one. 
This is EPC Leaf Hopper and it's doing very well. It's very healthy and it should bloom by the end of the fall. We'll see. Now, I have bigger ones too. I want to point out my uh, Schomburgia, which is now um, reclassified as a Myrmocophila. So here we go. <clears throat> this is a Myrmocophila. Uh, I don't know if it's going to bloom anytime soon. This, this piece was taken from a mature plant, but it's taken it a while to establish itself. So there's, there you go, Myrmocophila or uh, Schomburgia, depending on what name you prefer. And this other one, this one is Catlia Tristar Bouquet. And to me, it just looks amazing. I love it. And is nicely established. She has roots all over here and it has a bloom spike so this one blooms for me every year uh, since I mounted it and uh, this is Catlia Tristar Bouquet so if you want to see it in bloom check out the the video when I when it blooms I'll make a video on that so this is some of my plants that I have mounted I love that my plants to be mounted they look really really nice so I hope you enjoyed my video like I said, I will make a video on how to mount orchids. So look for that video so that you can have mounted orchids like this. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.